countries. We thank you for the proprietors of these institutions who have come here. We pray for peace. We pray for security. Accept this our prayer as we commit to this stadium. Put your hands as we use it. Your Excellency, the making a grand total of 3,000 526 participants being hosted by the Republic of Uganda here in Bukedia at Bukedia Comprehensive School. I'm honored to welcome our chief guest, His Excellency President Yoel Kagutam Seveni, to the 21st edition of the Federation of East Africa School Sports Association Games. Your presence, Mr. President, marks a historical moment as you are the first head of state to grace our games. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to our chief guest. Let's clap for him. I extend my gratitude to the Speaker of the Parliament of Uganda, ministers, members of Parliament, ambassadors, leaders of delegation from member states, fiasco executive members, games teachers, athletes, and everybody present today. Uganda is hosting these games for a record seventh time and we have broken new ground by hosting the event within the premises of our host schools. This has never happened again. This has never happened ever before. Bukedia Comprehensive School and Amos College, I commend the management of these schools, particularly the directors, Right Honorable Anita Among and Honorable Patrick Opolot Isiaji. Your Excellency, Fiasa Games are held annually and Uganda is blessed to host this year's edition of this competition. The competition has brought 3,526 young athletes from across our region of East Africa, showcasing not only their potential talents, but also leveraging the integration process. Your Excellency, permit me to thank you for championing the East African integration. And I would like to ask the congregation to clap for you, Mr. President. Your Excellency, the integration process cannot be complete without the involvement of these young people. And I would like to thank your vision and your colleagues at the region for accepting to allow us young people to participate in sports. And this is the only way we can market the East African integration to the grassroots. Your Excellency, as you wisely stated recently, as you are cancelling our elite athletes before you flag them off to represent Uganda to the recently concluded Olympic Games. The benefits of sports are many, and it's my prayer 
that while competing in these games, these young athletes learn your message and progress to help have the many Cheptegays, the many Onyangos, and the Kiprotich. And I'm happy the young people from our country are ready to lead us in that, in that fight. As Bukede, a comprehensive school, as the people of Teso, as one of the directors of Amos College, we want sincerely to thank you for honoring our invitation to come and launch and commission these games. We also want to welcome our friends from all the East African countries. That is the principle of Ubuntu. We want to thank you so much. Thank you for coming to Bukedea. East African integration is not about just sports. Kunganisha kwa East Africa sio jambo la michezo peke yake. It is first and foremost an issue of livelihood. Wa Africa wanafaa kuishi vipi kuwa na maisha mazuri. That is the first question. Uweze kuishi kwenye maisha mazuri You cannot live a good life without producing a good or a service. Ucho unataka maisha mazuri labda uzalishe mali we mwenyewe kama family au benefits. Lazima uzalishe mali Lazima utengeneze bidhaa kadhaa. You must produce a good or a service. Kwenye mashure inafaa waufundishe hilo jambo. Uchiweka swali kwa Kiingereza swali la kuwa where does prosperity come from? Prosperity, kwenye makazi, kwenye viwanda, kwenye mashamba. Where does prosperity come from? Our long experience here in Uganda, which we shared with our colleagues in East Africa, the elders like Marimu Nyerere, Jomo Kenyatta and others, ilikuwa kwamba uchitaka kuhishi vizuri, lazima uzalishe mari in the form of bidha, frani, a good or a service. Now, if you do that, then you get the next question. Where do you sell what you produce? Nani atanunua kwa wingi bidhaa hizo If the, the one inch of Africa wake up and start producing a lot of products they will soon find out that the internal markets are not enough watagundua kwamba masoko ya ndani ya ikira inchi hayatoshi cannot absorb all the products here in Uganda we already know that we have got surplus sugar surplus maize surplus milk bananas cement all these products 
the internal market is not enough. And I also know that in the 1960s, Kenya used to export a lot of products to Uganda. Therefore, Mifuko, Yawaganda, Erukwa, and Asaidia prosperity, Ustawi, or Kenya. Nasasaibi, Mifuko, Yawa East Africa, and Asaidia Ustawi, where to see Uganda. Maziwa, Sementi, Sukari, Soko and Dana Itoshi. Our Ugandan people are buying a lot of products from Tanzania, especially rice. And I saw that they were buying quite a, quite a number of things from Rwanda. So therefore, Jambo la Kwanza Kwenye Integration in East Africa ni Jambo la Prosperity, which is tied to the market. The bigger the market, the better for the prosperity of our people. That's how you get countries like the United States being so prosperous. Neighboring in the United States, there is Latin America. Latin America has got a lot of natural resources. Mare Asiri, Mito, Misitu, Madini, South America has a lot of those. Lakini wanakosa prosperity. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu, their market is fragmented. So this is the first point about East Africa. Secondly, security. Nibigumu inchi moja kujitoshereza kwenye mambo ya usalama. Kama majirani, awana usalama. You know this very well. We see the effects of Somalia to their neighbors, the effects of Congo to the neighbors. South Sudan sometimes also gets some issues. Our people in, South, in Tanzania and other areas, they know the situation in Mozambique. Kwa hiyo, the second aim of integration is to deal with strategic security. The third one is kutumia undugu. By the way, these people whom we are saying unite for the sake of your prosperity, unite for the sake of your security. Are they related or connected? That is very clear. I can go up to near Mwanza speaking in my local language and people will follow what I'm saying. If the Banyarwanda speak or the Barundi speak, I will follow what they are saying. We are, we are here in Teso. This part of Uganda is called Teso. If you go to Kenya, you will find Teso there. Kwa hiyo, our watu, wa East Africa ni watu wa moja au wako na usiano wa tangu zamani. So therefore, these are the three aims of the East African integration. Prosperity, strategic security, and undugu. So sports, ni kama Greece, Greece ya kongezea is the grease of lubricating that movement aiming at economic integration and in the future a political federation. Kwa hiyo na shukuru wakaribisha hapa ni vizuri nyinyi mchua bado vijana kujua hili jambo 
You should not just be diverted by only thinking about things in Europe and you don't remember your own destiny. When we started, we were young. I started working for these efforts when I was a, a teenager. You need to start now. Even the school curricula should be able to highlight these points so that you know you, this is your, your future. Muko na muda zaidi hapa kuliko mimi, mimi miaka yangu huko mbele sio minyi kama yenu. Kwa hiyo, mchisahau kujua mambo muhimu for your future, you will suffer. The good thing is that I have told you. Therefore, I want to thank the right honorable Anita Among and her colleagues here who developed this stadium at a reasonable cost and quickly. I think they should, they should serve an example to the others so that we can develop this stadium in other parts of the country. With these few words, I declare your games what? Open or what? Nimetangaza kufunguliwa kwa mchezo yenu. Please proceed. Proceed with the Mali. Let's go.